Hi folks, um, in the last video um, I showed you how I made this passerelle bridge which is a sort of thing that was invented by Khaki King and it turns an, well in this case an acoustic guitar into a kind of koto-like instrument so we have obviously the strings over the sound hole, the, the, the right side of the, of the instrument that is tuned to dadgad and we have a left side of the instrument which is which is the third down um so it's basically just you know it's just it's just a a, a second bridge essentially so we got the main bridge that the guitar comes with and then the, the new bridge um so given that this is the abominable studio um i have made a sample instrument of this instrument so we've got um the right side as an instrument the left side is an instrument, a lot harder to play because it's the fretting hand, not the, not the strumming hand. Um, and then I also did a bowing um, uh, sort of patch as well because um, given how this passerelle bridge sort of lifts the strings, it makes this, and, and, and I've obviously got a nice cutaway acoustic here, it makes it a sort of good candidate for sort of sort of bowing the strings um, because, because you've got that extra height. Um, you know, much like a cello, viola, and indeed the instrument sounds a lot like a kind of viola. Um, so that's um, so, so I'll demo those instruments. Um, they'll be on Coffee Shop as normal. Uh, they will be on GitHub. They'll be free to download. Um, they'll be in the decent sampler format. Um, I think that's all I need to say. Um, I did remember the jam that I did at the start um, to move the camera down so you can see what my hands are doing. But basically, I'm, I'm plucking either side of that of, of, of that bridge. And in this jam, I'm using the Mondegreen delay pedal from Old Blood Noise Endeavours. Cool. Um, I'll, I'll, I will just show you how I recorded the bowing and then we'll just get straight into the, uh, the, the, the instrument demos. Okay, we've got the passerelle bridge, um, dadgad, and the third below. Um, this is an, an old bow I found in a charity shop. I'm thinking cello given the length of it. Um, I can only really get this working on the top E string. Um, and what I'll do is I'll mute, I'm gonna mute the other strings and just play the top E string, which will be a, a B flat and a D. So I'm just off camera, I've just recorded some more. It's just a case of really setting this up optimally. So I've got some, so, so, so the bow can go right down to the floor without hitting a microphone or the table or the table leg. Um, so, so obviously, you know, if this was a violin, it'd be, it'd be here, wouldn't it? We'd have loads of space. And if it was a cello, it'd be sort of across my body and we'd be doing this kind of thing. So I'm not really sure how one would play the passerelle bridged guitar with a bow in the most proper way possibly like possibly kind of kind of like this kind of scenario i, I, I don't know yeah that sounds terrible um awkward 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 anyway let me just, I'll just show you what I've managed to record. And D. Um, so we'll build a sample instrument, pitch those down. Um, that could be quite interesting, could be quite interesting. So there's uh, there's three patches. This is the sort of the the right side of the passerelle bridge guitar over the fretboard, 
um, there's the left side over the um, fret board and there's also the bowed um, guitar with the passerelle bridge. Um, I'll just demo, this is the decent sampler, um, this is the uh, the right side um, and as yeah, so this is as as I think as it loads up obviously because it's like a you know, assembly instrument, we can have nice chords. Lovely stuff. Uh, we've got uh, reverb, so we can dial the reverb in more. Filter. Level control. Delay, the delay has got stereo offset or left and right offset, uh, feedback control, and delay time. <laughs> Which you can uh, mess with live. And obviously an, an AR envelope, so we can have a nice slow attack, slow release, a sort of a paddy sound. Oh, very nice. And we've got the, the fretboard sound, which sounds like this when we load it. Slightly different, and it's slightly different. And if you li we listen to the original, it is you know they are it's a slightly different timbre. It's obviously the strings in the left half, and not over the like the sound hole and the and, and the resonating chamber of the body of the guitar. So the it does definitely have a slightly different sort of sound to it. <laughs> So we could take the reverb down, we've got the tone control, level control, we can have loads of delay for some reason with a, with a, with a slow time. That's the second patch, and we have got the bowed guitar. So this is only the the top string; only that really worked. But obviously, we can map that across the entire keyboard. It sounds like a viola. It does sound like a viola.
again we've also got the AR envelope, reverb tone, level control and a delay um, Alrighty, those are the three patches. Um, so as I say, that'll be on my coffee shop. Uh, that'll be on my GitHub. I think it's already on GitHub, actually. I do need to upload it onto coffee. Um, it'll be free to download, just uh, download. It'll be in decent uh, sampler format. Um, will it be an SFZ? Um, not yet. If you want it in SFZ format, let me know. Any other questions about the Passerelle Bridge or decent sampler or anything like that, do put them down in the comments below. Okay, see you in the next video. Bye, 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 bye.